Let's talk a bit about Marvel and what they're doing with Spider-Man once again. Because it's not getting any better with Spider-Man over at Marvel. But before I even go into that, let's touch on something here. Yeah? Because uh, when Elon Musk took over Twitter, there was all this uproar and all this, con- all this kind of stuff. And then he announced that, you know, if you want to keep your blue check mark, you know, to show that, okay, this is your certification or whatever the hell it is, I don't know. Right? Um, You had to pay, I think it's like $8 a month or something, so like that and whatnot. And all these celebrities who love to live on Twitter were freaking out and talking and saying, no, I can't do that and that's so wrong and what the hell is this and that thing and paper and all kind of nonsense. No, you could either pay for your, pay for your, um, for, 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 for your blue check mark, which apparently gives you the ability to, I think you could post longer videos and things like that or whatever. Or you could not do it and just still upload and be done with it. So, the choice is yours, not like anybody's holding a gun to your head. One person who lives on Twitter, literally lives on Twitter, tweeting all the time, having fights with people online all the time, is Dan Slot. Now, this is not just me saying Dan Slot lives on Twitter because they did a documentary with Marvel and thing and the other. Some a little while, some a little while back they did that and stuff, and it was revealed that he's always late with getting his books done. Always late with getting the work done. Thing. And that's most, most of the time they have to bring in other people to finish off his work because he spends practically all his time on Twitter. He's addicted to it. So Dan Slot had this big freak out saying that, you know, he's not going to pay for Twitter and he's done. Goodbye. He ain't coming back. And you could find him on some other site and he's done with Twitter. He's not going through that. He's finished. Right. So he's done with Twitter, as he says, right? Wrong. Because it didn't even take a good, I think it wasn't even a good two weeks or something. So after that, he's back on Twitter. If you look at here, Twitter page. Back on Twitter, posting as as, as early as 11 hours ago. And that he's going on. So, you know, you're always talking about Trump and throwing this about Trump and Trump this and Trump that. And he's just going on. Yeah, so he hasn't left. For some, something else now from rest of our ago. Right. He hasn't left. He's not going anywhere, Dan. Slot is addicted to Twitter. He's not leaving. You understand me? No. As I'm speaking about Dan Slot, recently in Spider-Man number seven, when they were having the whole thing with the um, Spider-Verse and all this nonsense, all that and the other, Dan Slot was teasing that we're going to be introducing a new character. Well, he introduced said new character. It's Spider-Boy. Right? Spider-Boy. Spider-Man gets a brand new sidekick, meets Spider-Boy. Marvel Spider-Man number seven by Dan Slot and Mark Bagley will introduce fans to Spider-Man's brand new sidekick, Spider-Boy, co-created by Humberto Ramos. Right? Yeah. So, for what it is, yes, um, we love his, this is, um, we love his debut into it, um, his origin story told in June 2023's Edge of Spider-Verse number three, following his appearance in Spider-Man. Right? So, this is Spider-Boy here. Right? This is Spider-Boy. He showed up in his shoe number seven of that, of that issue, that, that comic. Let me just show you the, move for it here. Right. This is the big bad that they're fighting at the end of the Spider-Verse in Spider-Man number 7. Some giant wasp kaiju thing with tits. That's what they're doing. That's the big reveal. That's the big takeaway from it. All this nonsense happening. All these spider people that they brought together to do all of this. You know, all of them there. All these spy, all these waste of time spider people that they decided. Hey, let's just drag everybody into this nonsense. So... Yeah, so that's what we're getting there with it. Now, when Spider-Boy showed up, right, it's revealed that apparently he was always in Earth 616 and he had adventures with um, Peter Parker and Miles Morales and somehow he got erased from from um, history and everybody forgot about him. But he only shows up for like 
two seconds, he shows up, he tells, he, he tells everybody, I'm Spider Boy, and when they don't remember him, he just gets upset and, and, and leaves. That's it. Right now, the, the, the really crappy part about it is that this, they introduced this character, and they've kind of said that he kind of got erased from history, sort of like what happened with the Sentry. The Sentry is Marvel's version of Superman. He also got that, that I think it was I think it was that he had everybody forget about him because of the because of, because of his alter ego, the void who's evil and so he forgot about that, but, say, but this one got erased from history for some stupid reason. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with this spider boy and, and by what they're gonna do with him, I can't wait to see what he's going to identify as because you know that's the only thing that they do in comics these days. Who's going to identify as this? Who's going to come out of the closet here? That's pretty much it. A thing about this character really says to me that, you know, he seems interesting in any way whatsoever. I mean, there was some follow-up say that, you know, he has the ability to tap into Spider-Man's um, spider sense when he could, he, he doesn't just have spider sense. He could literally see and feel what Peter Parker sees and feels. It's very creepy. And it's very, very creepy. And they put no thought into this character whatsoever. But what did... What did, um, before I get into that, here's what I say, the publisher teased of the new character. Over time, Marvel fans have met a host of new heroes from throughout the Spider-Verse. Miles Morales, Ghost Spider, Spider-Man, Noir, Spider-Punk, and so many more have, have weaved their way to the Marvel Universe and into fans' hearts. But none of them have been anything like Spider-Boy, not originating from the multiverse at all. Spider-Boy's been here all along and started some of the greatest stories in Spider-Man history, hasn't it? Now, they think this is a good thing, but like I have stated before, they're cheapening Spider-Man every time they do this. All these people that they met in here, Miles Morales, Ghost Spider, Spider-Man, or Spider-Punk, when everybody is a Spider-Person, Spider-Man is not Spider-Man anymore. The uniqueness of Spider-Man is gone. But here you are saying everybody's a Spider-Person. Everybody and their uncle is a Spider-Person. Everybody and their aunt is a Spider-Person. It does not work. Although you've introduced yet another Spider-Person in Spider-Boy. Aye, aye, aye. So Dan Slott goes on to the say this. I can't wait for people to meet Spider-Boy. And the unique role he's going to play in both Spider-Man's world and the Marvel Universe. I grew up reading Spider-Man comics. He's my favorite character in all of fiction. So maybe you should come off of Twitter and write the damn books. But even when you write them, they aren't very good. But okay. Alright. we we'll continue on. All I ever wanted to do was tell stories with this cast. And it's been the coolest thing ever to co-create some, some of the characters who populate it. And this kid, this spider boy, is the one I'm most psyched about. Well, that should tell you right then. On the art side, two absolute spider legends are bringing spider boy to life. My life, long, my long time collaborator, Humberto Ramos and amazing Mark Bagley. The all new, all different spider boy of the 616. He's got strange new spider powers, secret ties to dark corners of Spider-Man's law, and his story that's all his own. That is right about to begin. Literally, this is the same thing everybody says every time they bring in yet another spider copy. Strange new powers that are that, that are exactly like Spider-Man's, just with a slight little twist. And by slight, slight little twist, I mean that it might just be something leaning towards Spider-Woman's powers or leaning somewhere towards Miles Morales or something like that. That's it. That's slightly, but basically the same thing. There's always that, always some secret ties or something involving Spider-Man that just turned out to be a bunch of nonsense. And then they'll talk about a story, all his own. No, you know what's going to happen? They're going to throw him in with Spider-Man's rogues gallery just to continue to do the same thing over and over again. That's it. That's all that they're going to do. So we're getting Spider-Boy. You understand me coming out of um apparently he was he's been in Earth 616 all along but then he but then he really forgot about him wearing smokers um his name is Bailey that that's the most 
quarter thing we're getting out of this. So Dan Slot went out of his way to create yet another waste of time spider copy rather than actually do something interesting with the character. Then your Marvel just doesn't seem to like Spider-Man. Like they literally, I mean Spider-Man is, is literally their highest selling comic book and one of the um, probably the most fam famous and favorite character that they have in Marvel comics right now and they're going out of their way to just destroy this character. That's it. So we're getting Spider Boy because why the hell not? Uh, you know your thoughts on this in the comments. Have a front opinion. I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, you should hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell to notify every time I put out a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.